Hello guys, Grumpy. Welcome back to Feed the Beast. Today I started a new world because uh, the Ultimate Pack's out now. I've been waiting for it to come out. I actually don't know how long it's uh, been out because I hadn't actually uh, been keeping track of Minecraft for a week or two. I was too busy with the SimCity stuff. Um, but to go all along was to wait for this. This is the Ultimate Edition with the most mods. So this is what I'm going to be playing. I am playing with pretty much default settings. The only thing, well, I'm on hard mode, first of all, but the only mod I disabled was Greg's Tech. Um, I used to like Greg's Tech. I don't anymore. It's fun the first time, but honestly, it just draws the game out too much, and just it's a lot of grinding. And I like more of the in-game stuff, the computers and all that. But anyway, right here is where I spawned. I didn't walk around any or thing like that i just stood there for a second and waited for it to spawn so you're seeing this world for the first time just like me um so it's kind of cool a lot of mountains here but first thing i want to do is find a good place to build a home now i'm going to do some cut uh editing so you're not going to watch me chop a bunch of trees and stuff but right now uh we're just doing a little bit of exploring seeing what's up I don't know how far that goes down. That's the kind of thing I like to explore, just curiosity. But one of the things I've been doing, usually on Minecraft worlds always, is I build uh, my house on the side of a mountain or something like that. And Honestly, with this uh, Feed the Beast, there's too many machines and all this kind of stuff. What you end up doing is just build a bunch of floors. I'd rather just have a, a massive house with just one floor, perhaps two floors. I don't like this area. It's desert. We're going to go back and look this way. There were some cool mountains over here. I do like mountains, but um, I may actually build a house, like maybe perhaps on the side of a hill, but have my workshop super close to where I can, I can go down a tunnel to get to it or something. Maybe something like that, but I'm tired of digging out rooms just to add on to a house. I also want to try something different. So if anybody's got any ideas, let me know. Probably this uh, first day or two, I may just um, build a temporary house. I do that a lot because darkness comes upon you before you know it, and then you just got to dig a hole and live there for a day or two. A lot of cool hills. I always like the hills the best. And by the way, in case anybody's wondering, uh, no, I, I'm not going to be doing any more SimCity videos. Those other guys will. Um, frankly, I just wasn't uh, I wasn't enjoying it. I didn't enjoy the game. I don't like the game, honestly. I wish I had my money back. But Tomb Raider came out the same day, and I'm a huge fan of that, too. And I had to kind of pick, and I, I went with SimCity. But oh, I don't like the always on. DRM, it, it's like I've got corrupted games where I'd build a city and it gives you some kind of weird message saying processing error, then it gives you an option to roll back to a stable state. When you roll back to a stable state, nothing happens, so it's just a lot of headache, but they left so much stuff out of that game that used to make it fun. I want a simulation. I just want a realistic simulation, and so I mean, I want subways and, and freeways and all that stuff's gone. I want bigger cities. There's only two map sizes. There's extremely, ridiculously small, and then there's just super small. So that's the only two map sizes you've got. The best, you don't really build a city, you build a neighborhood. And you can fill up a whole map in like an hour. And when we were doing that collaboration video together, I was intentionally building slow uh, just to kind of draw it out because I didn't want to just build it up in two episodes and be done with it. It's kind of. It's kind of sad how fast you can build that thing up and take out a loan and all that, but it seems like you spend most of your time in that game um, upgrading roads, adding vehicle garages, and waiting for your money supply to get up. Other than that, there's no, doesn't seem like there's a whole lot to do, but a lot of people enjoy it. It's a new game, so novelty of it. A lot of people enjoy it, but um, I spent a total of $85 on that game. I spent 60 for the game and 25 for the strategy guide, and I could have bought two or three other good games without money, like Max Payne's on sale right now, Max Payne 3. I'm a fan of that franchise. It's only 13 or $14, but I pretty much blew my gaming budget on SimCity, so 
Ooh, I like this. Here's Spider. But anyway, that's enough about SimCity. If you're interested in SimCity, those guys are still playing. Feel, feel free to watch them. But me, I'm going to stick to my uh, Feed the Beast for now. This has been very good to me. Um, as a matter of fact, I can do one tutorial on Feed the Beast to get more views off just one of these videos. Just because I have over 4,000 people who sub to me just for Feed the Beast. and It gets a little laggy sometimes when I get in these forests. It's because it's generating training and stuff. Well, I don't, I'm just looking for a huge flat area that seems to be not happening. I don't know why these forests are always so laggy. They're laggy for me. Part of it is they're generating, but even after they generate, they're still a little laggy for me. And I'm going to be doing some tutorials too. Um, I haven't been doing a whole lot of tutorials. It's not because... Um, well, the reason I hadn't been doing tutorials is because uh, there wasn't much new content. And I don't want to do tutorial when there's already a dozen tutorials on that out there. Most of my tutorials are for the new stuff that was added by Feed the Beast. So there's a whole lot of people been playing Take It for like a year. And so if I do a tutorial on something that's in Take It, it gets a lot of downvotes on Reddit and actually on my um, videos too. A lot of people have no idea why. If they already know how to do something, you do a tutorial, they'll downvote it. And that's kind of sucks, but I guess that's the way it is. Well, I'm over here back at this desert again. I don't know. Maybe I might do. Ooh, there's some of them cool flowers. I forget what these do. They give you blaze powder. Okay. We're going to grab those. Those are kind of. Well, I thought they were semi rare. There seems to be a ton of them around here. So it looks like we have a temple right here. Let's go check this out. Actually, before I check this out, I remember I've got killed in those before. I don't even know how to get back here. Um, what I need to do is pause the video. I found out I'm just going to build a house in the desert. I've never done that before. Right here on the edge of this forest. It's a big, cool, flat area. So, well, I'll say it's flat. I don't like that lava sound either. Ooh. That's not good. You don't want to build a house over lava. Accidentally fall in there build, working on your house or something. Let's build a house right here. Now I'm going to pause the game. And uh, I got to just get some wood real fast and build a temporary house. Okay, just a little bit of a status update. I didn't walk that far and it turned dark on me. So I managed to get a little bit of wood. And I got a workbench actually, but it's out there. There's a skeleton out there. But I want to make me a furnace real quick and then I'll get some charcoal going. There we go. Uh, so let's see. Uh, there we go. That should be good. That's why I like when they added charcoal to the game because I remember when you used to play Minecraft where they had charcoal, you really had to find coal the first day. Now you just got to have a block of wood to make charcoal so there we go I can make a couple torches or four to be precise now I do get a whole lot of requests for different tutorials um, I do listen to the suggestions I get some good ideas but uh, usually if I don't do a tutorial there's a good reason one I have no idea how to do what you want me to do I'll be honest with you I'll keep it real um, I'm not a super genius who knows everything there is to know about Minecraft. I play this game for fun. Um, uh, basically what I do when I figure out how to do something, um, uh, a lot of times I'll make a tutorial out of it. But like I said a minute ago, um, I don't want to do a whole lot of tutorials when there's already um, those tutorials out there because they just don't get many views. This game has been out so long anyway to even feed the beast that a whole lot of these, uh, a whole lot of stuff people already know how to do. But I do got to still have a lot of ideas for tutorials, especially now that this is the ultimate edition. So be prepared for more tutorials. Now I was planning on actually doing a feed the beast tutorial a, a couple days ago. 
And the reason I didn't is because my girlfriend actually had to send her computer off for warranty work. It was about to go out of warranty, and she had a bad fan, had a bad bearing. It'd make a lot of racket, so she put it off as long as she could, but the warranty was about to expire, so she went ahead and mailed it off. But uh, we forgot the server is actually on her computer, so I actually had no choice but to start a new world today anyway. But um, I actually just recently restored my hard drive, like uh, last weekend. And so I had to reinstall everything. Uh, it kind of sucks, but I um, had to re-download Feed the Beast. Did that about an hour ago. And that's what I discovered. I just looked up there and Ultimate Edition was out. So that's what I've been waiting on. And once again, every mod, I have every mod activated. So there's a lot of mods in here I don't know about. And so it'll give me a lot of opportunities to make some tutorials. Now I'm sitting here. I'm going to stop recording because I'm just waiting for the sun to come up. Sorry, I was talking a little bit, but I don't want to sit down. Make y'all watch me dig okay, out. Okay, the sun's up. I'll come over here and show you uh, how much I dug out during the night. Not too much. So I'm going to get a little bit of wood. Not too much. I'm not going to sit there and make you watch me get too much wood. But um, I had a lot of requests for people wanting to see me do a Let's Play. So that's kind of why I'm doing this. I really don't know how much to show. I can't show too much building a complicated machine because they take way too long to build and I'm gonna make a tutorial if I build something complicated I'm gonna make a tutorial out of it because honestly the tutorials get literally ten times as many views as a let's play video somebody jumped me ooh he's about to kill me oh doesn't that suck alright well it looks like we're gonna be stuck in the house again tonight I may actually starve to death who knows don't have a bed and I'm not exactly sure how to get back to here either so <laughs> I may be um, in trouble we'll see well at least I got a little bit of wood I don't remember getting that much but I guess I did uh, I'm gonna build me a chest while I'm in here yeah part of me wants to keep Greg's tech enabled but overall I was like I was on the kind of on the fence about it I don't know, to me it kind of almost feels like cheating, but man, some of those recipes are ri ridiculous. I mean, just to make a solar panel, all the machines you got to build. But if you want to know how to do all that kind of stuff, I do have tutorials on it, so feel free to check those out on how to use an industrial blast furnace and all that. And those are actually, uh, some of those videos got the most views, you know, those kind of videos, because everybody needs to know how to do it. But um, I'm going to try to do something new in this game. That's the one bad thing about restarting a, an LP of Feed the Beast or Take It. It takes you so, so long to get back to where you were. So, uh, I got, it looks like I got a skeleton outside my house, or I mean a zombie. Probably a skeleton too, but I don't want to get killed. So it looks like I'm stuck here today. I'm going to stop recording. I'll just be digging screwed out. screwed up and turn all my logs into planks, so I'm going to make a run for it. See what happens. Hopefully I don't die. I'm just going to stay here long enough to get a little bit of wood so I can go back and make me some torches. Okay, I need to get out of here. I do not feel safe out here. Basically, one hit, I'm dead. Bastard's in my house. What the hell? There we go. We made it, so I'm going to cook me some more stuff here so I really don't feel more comfortable digging out too much more because this is a temporary house I need to do the typical stuff find a food source um, get uh, some wool so I can make a bed all that kind of thing but it looks like I'm just going to stand here, so I'll stop recording, and once the rain dies or the sun comes back up, once I can go back outside, I will. Okay, it's still raining, so one thing I did do, I wanted some sand, so I tunneled over here. There's all kinds of mobs out here, but... Um, so I got me some sand. I'm going to go to make some glass. Um, just because, something to do. 
actually it looks like I don't have a whole lot of fuel though but I got enough so let's go back over here I'll dig out a little bit more it's one of those worlds where I kind of got screwed over I better watch this Somebody under, somebody's going to drop down here and kill me and there he is I really don't want to die at least I found a little copper in here when I was digging out. It was like uh, right along this wall right here. So, well, I'll stop recording again. So, by the way, y'all let me know what you want to see me, where you want to see me build my house or if you want me to do something. But it looks like I'm, I desperately need food now. Okay, here we go. The sun's coming up. It's the next day now. Um, I actually realized that I had three pieces of zombie flesh. I ate those, so that helped my health out. And so I just came down here and I'm just going to tunnel down until I find something. Actually, if you see right there, there's cobblestone because there's marble down there. So if I ever need marble, I can get something down there. I actually got some, maybe a half a stack. But I also found a pocket of coal, four pieces of iron. I don't remember finding the iron, but apparently I had it in my inventory and I'm cooking it right now. So... Let me know what you want to see me doing this LP. Um, am I editing too much? Not enough? Uh, do you want me to see me build? Just let me know and I'll go with whatever the most votes are. But um, like I say, once again, I will try to get up more tutorials very quickly. Probably this weekend I'll get one or two up. A lot more new stuff for me to learn. And so when I learn it, I'll put it up. And appreciate all you guys watching. Um, we will see you next time. Don't forget that. Don't forget to like the video. It helps me out. And we'll see you next time. Sorry. There we go. Babbling. I oh, just one thing to note. I just noticed. I'm going back and, and looking at the video that I uh, had it in cheat mode. I did not cheat anything in. And you can probably figure that out because there's nothing in my inventory and nothing. That, I don't know why I was in cheat mode. I just reinstalled everything. When I created the world, it asked me if I wanted to enable cheats. I did that. But after that, was just to use commands. But um, I don't ever use those commands, but I just enable them just in case I ever decide to, but I've never used them. I don't know the commands, but I do use the cheat mode a lot when I'm doing tutorials. But anyway, sorry about that. Don't think I'm a cheater. I didn't cheat anything in. As you can see, I'm poor. I don't have anything special. But anyway, Grumpy, we'll see you next time.